Welcome to the virtual Wednesday edition of Getting the Word Out from the Bethel Baptist Church of Pasadena, California, where John T. McCall is our senior pastor. We pray that our Bible study ministry blesses you greatly. Meanwhile, if you'd like to be a blessing to the Bethel Baptist Church ministry financially, you can do it at BethelPasadena.org. Just click on the Giving tab and follow the instructions. Your support of this ministry is greatly appreciated. Our pastor is coming with an anointed word. Again, thanks for joining us here at Bethel Baptist Church of Pasadena. Welcome in, Bethel family and all of our special guests uh, on this Passion Week, uh, on the countdown to Resurrection Weekend, uh, and how grateful we are uh, for Jesus entering Jerusalem uh, and the price that he would pay. Uh, and as the crowd is shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, uh, save us now. Uh, thank God for Jesus uh, and the price that he paid for us on Calvary, uh, dying for all of our sins. Listen, uh, on today, uh, we have a special treat for you uh, in this Passion Week. Um, uh, we're on vacation. The offices are closed. Uh, we're on the countdown preparing for, for Sunday. Uh, as you know, uh, this coming Saturday from 10 to 2 uh, is our drive through uh, Easter basket giveaway. Uh, so drive through so I can see you, uh, wave at you, and um, uh, give your kids uh, gifts from the church. Uh, staff are working uh, this coming Saturday to prepare those gifts. Um, and then on Sunday morning, uh, you don't want to miss uh, this exciting uh, Easter Resurrection Weekend message. Uh, but on today, uh, I want to show one of our previously recorded messages uh, for you. Uh, I pray that it blesses your soul on the day. Total freedom. Total freedom. Jesus came so you and I uh, could be free. Uh, so we could be freed from our sins. Uh, and thank God uh, for what he does for us, what he has done for us, and what he will continue to do for us. Listen, uh, until uh, Saturday, see you in the drive through uh, and Sunday morning, uh, our roads lead to the Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, tune in uh, for our Resurrection Weekend Sermon. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Tell a friend, tell a family member, uh, and you tune in. But until then, uh, you stay in the blessed place. I'm Pastor John T. McCall, Senior Pastor of the Bethel Missionary Baptist Church of Pasadena, California. Love all of you. Um, today in um, our study, um, I want to um, go back to the series we began um, several weeks ago um, and um, just dig in some nuggets today and hopefully challenge your faith uh, and encourage you uh, to trust the word of God. Um, in John chapter 8, uh, verses 31 and 32 from the Message Bible, um, then Jesus turned to the Jews who had claimed to believe in him. If you stick with this, living out what I tell you, you are my disciples for sure. Then you will experience for yourself the truth and the truth will free you. Um, today, as we continue our teaching uh, in our series of total freedom, total freedom. Uh, my assignment in this teaching series is to challenge every believer to become totally free in every area of your life. And perhaps many of you have settled for limited freedom, uh, saved from the penalty of sin, saved from hell, but living beneath the privileges uh, that are offered to us by being a child of God. Uh, Jesus said it, uh, and, and you believe what Jesus says, correct? Jesus says, whom the Son sets free uh, is free indeed. Um, and, and, and my sense about freedom, um, um, particularly as it relates in, in Black History Month uh, and as we celebrate 
uh, the accomplishments of African Americans, um, uh, and how we've accomplished much uh, because we persevered. Uh, we didn't quit. Uh, we did not succumb to the injustice done by our oppressors. Um, and we understood that that freedom would come someday. Uh, and so as we continue this, uh, I think, critical series uh, for the next few weeks, uh, we know that freedom can only come by continuing in what we believe, sticking with the truth of the gospel, uh, living out what Jesus uh, says to us. Uh, it's by continuing, abiding in the truth of God's word, uh, and ye shall know the truth. The truth that you know about the word of God will make you free. Um, and, and this freedom uh, is only obtained by continuing. Um, and, and, and today, I, I want to just focus in on this one word, continue. Uh, continuing. Um, uh, looking at how truth is expressed through your life, uh, it's only by continuing. Uh, living out your life as a believer, uh, it's only by continuing uh, in the Word of God. Uh, and I can't say enough uh, to encourage you uh, uh, to continue in his truth. Uh, see, the assignment of the enemy is to cause a disconnect, uh, a, a discontinuance um, in, in what uh, can make you free. Uh, the enemy trembles at the word of God, uh, and, and the enemy will come, uh, and, and his assignment uh, is to cause you to discontinue, uh, to cause you to quit, to cause you to give up. Uh, uh, in the midst of the struggle. Uh, and all of us uh, on today uh, have at least one area of struggle in our lives. Some of us have more than one, but, but, but all of us have at least one area of our life uh, that we struggle with. Uh, and if you're not careful, uh, uh, you've been freed from that thing. But if you're not careful, uh, um, you will fall back into bondage, that which you had thought uh, that you had broken free from. Uh, we struggle to get out. Uh, our struggle is real. Your struggle is real. Uh, and it's real because, uh, simply put, uh, we live in a fallen world. Uh, we live in a world of sin. Uh, and, and the enemy is constantly trying uh, to bring you back uh, into some form of captivity, uh, whether it's mental, uh, physical, uh, emotional, financial, some habit or desire, a, a past failure, uh, uh, some character flaw. Um, um, you have to fight uh, to remain free. Uh, and the fight is to continue in his word. Um, no freedom, freedom in every area uh, of your life uh, is possible. Uh, but it only is possible um, uh, if you live life through the lens of what the Word of God has to say. And the truth about the Word uh, negates your truth. Uh, many people uh, highly value their truth, the truth they've learned via life experiences, uh, how they were raised, uh, cultural norms, uh, racial practices, and uh, all of these have their place. Uh, but they are not the standard uh, by which real truth is measured. Uh, uh, in this Bible study today, um, as, as we, you know, we, we look at the struggles of life, and the struggles of life are real, um, um, what areas in your life today are you struggling in? Um, 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 where is that place uh, that causes you despair and uh, loneliness and hurt and pain? Uh, what's the area uh, that you're struggling with? Um, and I wonder how many of you um, have simply given up uh, in the struggle uh, and you've been convinced that that's just the way it is. Um, uh, you might as well forget about trying to change it or, or get free in that area of your life. Well, 
uh, tell that devil he's a liar. Uh, uh, the devil is a liar. Um, uh, Jesus has declared. Uh, um, he, he said that freedom is available. Freedom is available to you. Listen today. Freedom is available. He wants you to be free. He designed you to be free. Um, uh, in this message version uh, today of our Bible study in John chapter 8, verse 31 32, uh, then Jesus turned to the Jews who had claimed to believe in him. Uh, and he says to them, if you stick with this, living out what I tell you, uh, you are my disciples for sure, then you will experience for yourselves the truth, and the truth will free you. Uh, listen, these, um, uh, these new Jewish uh, converts, uh, they were listening to Jesus, but they weren't hearing Jesus. They were listening, but they were not hearing him. Uh, because of how they saw themselves, uh, uh, they couldn't even comprehend his message. Uh, and on today, um, uh, I need to um, uh, to begin um, to, uh, to to shift uh, in your mindset, to shift uh, your mindset, um, um, and 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 give whatever it is um, that's holding you back, that's keeping you bondage. I need you. Um, uh, to give that problem over to the largeness of our God. Uh, our God is bigger than anything that's holding you back, anything that's caused you discomfort. Our God is bigger than that. Uh, uh, it has to come under subjection uh, uh, to the word of God. Uh, it, 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 it can't dominate over God. Uh, and, and so today, um, um, wherever you are, wherever you are listening to me, if, if, if you begin by simply making a commitment uh, to give it over to Jesus, uh, to give it over to him, uh, um, he's able, he's, he, he's big enough, he's large enough, uh, he's all power, uh, he's all knowing, uh, he's he, he present everywhere at the same time, he can handle it, he can deal with it. Um, you know, I, imagine yourself today, Imagine yourself today uh, uh, being in God's spiritual uh, uh, hospital uh, and, and um, you're being given a uh, life-saving transfusion. Um, um, uh, uh, you, you're being connected uh, to the life-giving source, uh, which is in Jesus Christ. Um, and, and this transfusion, uh, is designed to make you free. Uh, just as the branches are connected to the vine uh, and receiving the right nutrients, uh, enabling uh, it to produce an abundant harvest, you've got to see yourself connected spiritually uh, to the one who can free you. Uh, you can't free yourself. Uh, and, and in that struggle of trying to free you, uh, all you're doing is uh, uh, complicating the problem, the situation, uh, causing yourself more, more, more stress, uh, more psychological uh, and, and emotional pain. You need to let go uh, and, and give that over to God and his word. Um, you got to see yourself connected uh, to the life-giving source. Um, um, let me... Let me date myself uh, today. Uh, how many of you uh, growing up uh, watched the Popeye uh, cartoon? Uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, you know, when you watch that cartoon, um, whenever uh, uh, Popeye was confronted uh, or in a difficult situation, in a tight place, in a squeeze, uh, it didn't matter where it was. If he could somehow uh, uh, pull out a can of spinach, and pop it open and, and swallow that spinach, uh, then he received his strength. Uh, listen, our strength today, our strength today uh, is the word of God. Uh, our spinach today uh, uh, is, is, is the word of God. Uh, and, and, and Jesus simply says um, that if you stay connected uh, to my truth uh, and what that truth reveals to you, uh, will set you free 
in every area of your life. Uh, whatever area uh, today you're struggling with that has you bound, uh, you can find a remedy for it uh, in the word of God. Uh, but you got to believe the truth that's expressed in the word. Uh, you know, these Jewish converts, uh, uh, they, they were listening to Jesus, but they weren't hearing him. Uh, 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 they had their own mind set up uh, uh, about who they were, uh, 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 their history, uh, their importance, uh, and, and they could not hear uh, this simple message that Jesus was given to them. Um, you can have breakthrough today. Today, you can experience a freedom, a relief, uh, a breakthrough uh, uh, in your life today. Um, and I want to focus on one word, one word. Continue. Continue. Um, uh, uh, this word is so vital to freedom. Uh, 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 it's so vital uh, to access to all of what God has to offer. Uh, continue to remain, uh, to abide. Uh, and, 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 and in the Bible, we read, we believe what the word of God has to say. And, 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 and there are so many stories. Uh, and situations where breakthrough occurred uh, as a result of individuals continuing, uh, uh, remaining, uh, abiding in his word. Uh, and, and for many of you, you've become discouraged um, in the struggle. And discouragement um, um, is, is easy. Um, uh, it, it feels like for you, perhaps God isn't doing anything. Uh, he's not moving fast enough. Uh, the pain uh, is uh, unbearable. Uh, the mental anguish uh, that you're going through. Um, and, and, and here's something that I think you ought to write down. Um, you ought to write this down today. Um, uh, that, that when you think that God isn't moving fast enough, uh, isn't doing um, um, something, uh, remember this. God is always doing something, even when it looks like nothing is happening. God is always doing something, even when it looks like nothing is happening. Even when God is not doing something, he is doing something um, because he knows when to act. Even when God is silent, um, uh, he's doing something uh, because he knows when to act. Uh, you and I, you and I can only see uh, to the corner. Uh, but God is able to see way around the corner. Uh, and, and you would be well served before you make a, a decision uh, uh, to discontinue um, uh, to take a second look, uh, because many times we interpret uh, our situation the wrong way. We look at it through faulty lens. Uh, uh, we, we, we look at it through the lens of self, uh, as opposed to the lens of the word of God. Uh, uh, we see it from the wrong angle. Uh, uh, and, and whatever today your situation is, your job, is simply to continue. Stop trying to figure it out. You know, there's this song we, we sing in church, uh, while you're trying to figure it out, uh, he's already worked it out. Uh, you know, uh, he knows. Uh, uh, he made you and I, uh, formed us uh, 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 in, in, in our mother's womb. Uh, so he knows. He knows our beginning uh, from the middle and from the end. Uh, and, and you're worried trying to get the answer before the time uh, uh, that the answer is supposed to come. Uh, yours is simply to wait. Um, and too many people today expect instant gratification. We live in a society uh, where everything is instantaneously. Uh, uh, but in the real world, in life, um, God can answer instantaneously. He has the power to change it right now. Uh, but for many of us, it's a process, and this process is called continuing. Uh, you got to continue and go through the steps. Uh, you know, 
um, when we talk about truth, about God's word, um, uh, one of my favorite uh, scriptures um, that I rely on um, uh, that, you know, that, that, that gives me strength uh, when going through difficult moments is found in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. Uh, and it says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Now, he didn't, he didn't say all things are good. Uh, you know, uh, uh, sickness and pain and COVID uh, uh, are not good. But he says all things work together for the good. Uh, and, 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 and while those things are working together uh, for your good, you may be in pain. Uh, it, it may feel like the world is pressing on your shoulder. It may feel like a heavy load. Uh, but you got to understand that he's working it out for your good. Uh, and, and while you're going through it, you need to rejoice and keep reminding yourself, okay, he's working it out for my good. I don't understand it. I'm doing my part, uh, but he's working it out for my good uh, because God has purpose for our lives. And what we go through, nothing is by accident. Nothing is by mistake, All right? Um, when, uh, when you look at um, um, this, this passage of scripture in, um, um, in uh, our text today, um, if you go back up to verse 31 um, in John 8, um, it says, if God be for us, um, who can be against us? Listen, um, um, uh, Paul, Paul, Paul uh, gives us some confidence, and he goes through a series um, of situations in life. Uh, but I like the, the, this question, if God be for you, uh, who can be against you? Uh, it, it, and John, if you've been set free, uh, from the bondage of sin uh, and, and no longer bound. Um, uh, uh, you're free uh, from eternal uh, damnation. Uh, that, that's freeing in and of itself. Uh, but, but, but these other areas of life, uh, 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 Paul, said, Paul says, uh, 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 if God is for you, for you uh, who can be against you? Uh, who can stop you? Who can defeat you? Uh, um, uh, who can keep you bound? Nothing. Uh, and a lot of people today are living a defeated life um, uh, where God has designed us to be free. Uh, and, 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 and we've come, uh, you know, the Black History, celebration of Black History Month, we've come this far by faith. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 imagine um, uh, our ancestors um, of, of the toil and, and what they had to put up with. Uh, and, and so we've come this far by faith. Uh, and, and, and God wants to do amazing things uh, in your life, in your generation, in your time, through you. Um, uh, and, but, but you can't do it uh, in bondage. Um, um, uh, freedom is available. Um, and, and, and as, as pastor, um, one of the things that, you know, that the burden uh, we carry for the people of God uh, is watching members um, um, in bondage and watching what it does to them, the toll it takes on them uh, and what they have to go through. Uh, and many never get free from it. Uh, um, they, they they love the Lord. Um, uh, you know, the best people to be around. Uh, uh, great souls, great heart. Um, but but for some reason, aren't free. Um, God wants you free uh, in every area of your life. Uh, and and the only way you can get free is that you got to continue. Got to continue abiding in His Word. Uh, you can't go in and out and apply it when you want to, when you don't want to, when you want to be you and do you and all that. No, no, you, you got to continue um, in His Word. Um, you know, the Bible is full of examples.
Bibles. Um, um, you know, uh, it, the Bible is our roadmap, and uh, and, and 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 these stories. Um, now we spend a lot of time talking about the people uh, in the Bible, uh, but really it's about the God of the Bible uh, and what God is able to do through the people uh, in the Bible. Uh, and I want today. I wonder, uh, will you allow Him to do? Um, um, in you, uh, uh, what he needs to do. Uh, uh, those individuals, some were reluctant at first, but in the end, they were glad they allowed God to work through them. God wants to free you. Uh, he wants to free you uh, in every area of your life, but you've got to continue um, in the word. Um, let me give you a couple of examples today. Uh, one of my favorite stories, uh, every time I read it, uh, I get new insight and um, uh, new nuggets from it. Um, um, Israel had prayed uh, for over 400 years. Uh, here they are in bondage. Uh, and uh, they prayed um, that, 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 that God would set them free. Uh, and, and listen, when God got ready, uh, here they are praying, um, and God sends Moses. Now, they're praying, and they have no idea that God has already answered and has sent Moses. Um, and, and you know the you know, story of Moses in the back of the desert tending sheep, um, and, and here is this dude in the midst of the burning bush and seeing all this happening, um, and here he is making excuses. Uh, of why he can't do what God is calling him to do, uh, and 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 finally and finally uh, he declares he's going to do what God has called him to do. And actually today, uh, what if what if you are the Moses uh, for your family, uh, the Moses for your job, uh, the Moses for your church, the Moses for your community, uh, uh, the Moses that's going to bless a whole bunch of people. Uh, here you are still talking about what you can't do, looking at your uh, inadequacies of what you see uh, versus how God sees you. Uh, you know, and it was amazing. What if, what if you were the answer? Uh, and here you are, um, uh, not allowing God to use you to be the solution and be the blessing for a whole bunch of other people. And that's how God works, because many times we misinterpret what he's doing. We don't see it. Uh, why me? How come me? I'm, you know, I'm nobody. Get somebody else. No, God wants to use you, uh, you who he's called for this assignment. Um, yeah, All right? And, and, and so stop refusing. Um, get in with God uh, and, and, and allow God to do in you uh, what he purposed and planned uh, to do. Now, they had no idea. They're still praying. And, and God has already answered. Um, um, as the Egyptians are, are making that work harder, uh, increasing the taskmasters are doing what they're doing, God had already answered. And Moses was on the way. You got to wait for the right timing of God. Can't go ahead of God. Uh, you got to wait on God. Uh, and, 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 and here they are. Uh, you know the story, uh, 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 Moses and Pharaoh, and finally uh, Pharaoh relents and he lets them go. Uh, but the people, the people don't leave broke. Uh, uh, the people leave blessed. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing um, um, how you could be in bondage, uh, and when God gets ready to free you, He'll bless you. Uh, uh, you know this notion of he can make a way out of no way. Uh, what the Bible says, see, 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 the joy of the Lord should be your strength. Um, you know, uh, what the word of God has to say uh, and, and what God is able to do. He's able to work it out. He's able to fix it. Uh, 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 and, 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 and somebody today, somebody today um, uh, who's in bondage, uh, you need to know um, um, and when God brings you out, uh, 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 there's a blessing uh, uh, being birthed 
uh, in freedom. Uh, uh, they don't leave empty handed. Um, um, God calls the people uh, to give to them and to bless them uh, as they're going out. Uh, but then as they're making their way out, um, uh, Pharaoh, uh, you know, Pharaoh changes his mind. <laughs> uh, and, and, and see, the devil, the devil is relentless. You think you're free. You think you're on your way. Here that joker comes back again uh, to take you back into bondage. Uh, and that's why you got to fight to be free. Uh, and, 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 and here they are. Here they are. Uh, children of Israel making their way out. Um, uh, they, they, they are believing they are free. Uh, uh, um, they are leaving Egypt. Uh, and now here they come to the Red Sea. And as they get to the sea in front of them, uh, Pharaoh's army is uh, coming uh, behind them. Uh, and, and, and listen, you got to read the story. Uh, see, 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 when you read the word of God, uh, 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 the enlightenment that comes, the smile that they put on your face uh, uh, to watch what God did for them. Uh, and the same God who did it for them is able to deliver you uh, from your bondage, uh, uh, from, from your taskmasters, uh, from your Pharaoh. Uh, he's able to deliver. Uh, and, 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 and here they are um, uh, at the Red Sea. Uh, Pharaoh's coming behind them, and I think in, uh, uh, it's in Exodus um, chapter 14 um, um, that the Bible says that the angel of God uh, and the pillar of cloud um, uh, that was going before them, um, you ought to read it, um, um, uh, that, 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 uh, that the angel of God and the pillar of cloud that, that was going before them, um, uh, that night when Pharaoh's behind them, um, uh, uh, the angel of God and the pillar of cloud now gets behind the people uh, uh, and protects them uh, from Pharaoh and his army. Uh, uh, to the Israelites, it's a light they can see. Uh, to Pharaoh's army, it's darkness <laughs> that they can't see. Uh, uh, and, 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 and see, the joy comes to knowing that not only can God lead, um, but he can protect you from the rear. Um, uh, when, uh, when, when stuff jumps off in your life, uh, uh, can you look back over uh, your life uh, when stuff you didn't expect uh, caught you off guard, jumped off uh, on the job uh, with your marriage, uh, with your children, uh, with your finances, uh, but God intervened. Uh, it looked bad, uh, but he didn't allow it to touch you. <laughs> Here they are, um, um, free, on their way, uh, and, and Pharaoh's behind them, uh, and, 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 and God moves his protected head from the front of them to go behind them uh, to confuse the enemy. That should give you some joy today in your life. Uh, that not only can God lead you, but he can protect you. So stop being fearful. Uh, 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 anxiety written. Um, uh, always on the attack, want to get even. No, God got it. He protects them. Uh, uh, God can lead and, 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 and God can also protect you. Um, uh, and, you know, God did not allow. <laughs> when when God sets you free, uh, I mean, you're free indeed. When he sets you free, look how he works uh, to ensure that they are free. Here's Moses now uh, standing at um, um, the Red Sea with his arms um, um, uh, stretched out. Um, and, and the Bible says that all night, um, uh, God used a strong uh, east wind to blow back the water and to dry uh, the ground. Uh, isn't it amazing how God will make a way out of no way? Um, you simply have to stay connected, stay trusting, stay believing. Over 400 years, they prayed. 
Uh, and, and, and God shows up. And somebody says when he shows up, he shows out uh, in a miraculous way. Uh, and here they are. Uh, they go across. They go across uh, on dry land. And there are implications uh, uh, to this. They, they go across uh, on dry land, not stuck in the mud. Uh, uh, they go across on dry land. Uh, and 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 here here is here is the, the joy of the Lord um, uh, that Pharaoh thought he and his army um, uh, could walk on the blessings of the Lord just like God's people. Uh, and you need to know uh, there is a difference when you belong to the Lord and when you are unsaved. <laughs> uh, 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 God made a way for them um, uh, and their oppressors thought uh, that they would use that same blessing uh, to recapture them. Uh, but listen, the schemes of the enemy are many, uh, uh, but God gives you a way of escape. Uh, uh, he'll show up uh, and, and they thought they thought they could walk on the same blessings uh, that Israel had. Uh, and when they got into the middle of the sea, <laughs> uh, God told Moses, uh, take your hand now and close it. <laughs> see, 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 <laughs> see, see how God uses us, how he wants to use you um, uh, in a mighty way to be a blessing uh, to somebody else. What if Moses had not surrendered? Uh, what, what if he hadn't answered the call? Yeah, God would have found somebody else. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, but his assignment, uh, how he fulfilled his purpose, uh, 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 the truth of God's word. Uh, when you read his word, uh, that all of what's written in the book uh, should encourage you, should inspire you. Uh, should cause you to want to continue. Uh, and when you feel this heart, uh, go to the word. That's your source. Um, uh, listen, my time today is uh, running out, but but uh, um, uh, you remember um, um, the man at the pool at Bethesda uh, had been an invalid for 38 years. And on this particular day, here comes Jesus. What if... He had said, you know what? I quit. I'm going home. Uh, I ain't nothing happening here. I don't have nobody help get me into the pool. And when the water gets trouble, so what the heck? I'm going home. He would have missed his blessing. You gotta, you gotta continue. And I'm impressing it today on your spirit to continue. Don't let COVID make you discontinue. Don't, don't let COVID make you lose your faith and your trust in God. Uh, yes, it's, yes, yes. We love a pandemic. Uh, half a million people have died, but you're still alive. Uh, don't let fear set in. Um, you know, um, um, as churches are planning uh, to reopen uh, for in-person worship, uh, don't let fear be your God. Don't let fear hold you back uh, <laughs> because you, what you're saying uh, is, is that your God is not um, 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 bold enough, big enough, bad enough to keep you. Hmm. He's keeping you now. He keeps you when you drive your car, when you stop to buy gas, when you go to the drugstore, when you go to the supermarket. Um, he's keeping you then. Don't let fear paralyze you. Fear and faith cannot exist in the same household together. Uh, and you got to decide that you're going to walk by faith and not by sight, that you're going to trust God. Uh, you're going to lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. Uh, you ought to be shouting right now, uh, shouting his praise. Uh, uh, our God sits high, but he looks low. Uh, he sees 
uh, and he knows what you are experiencing. But your job, your job is to continue, is to continue. Uh, let me close with this today. Um, another reason perhaps that people are not able to continue uh, is because they view the decisions God is making um, in light of their prayer request as confusion. They, 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 they don't understand. Why is he answering this way? Um, why did he close that door? Uh, why is he making me wait? Uh, how long do I have to go through this? Um, uh, this is so painful. Uh, and see, in today's moment, in reality today, we don't understand it. But you'll understand it on tomorrow because what you thought was hurtful today, tomorrow to you, it'll be helpful. Because you'll be like, man, I'm so glad God didn't let me do that. I'm so glad he didn't let that happen. Man, if that would have happened, I'd have been man. God, you see, today, today we see it one way. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, you'll see it as being helpful to you. That's why the song we sing that we'll understand it better uh, by and by. Uh, uh, that, that's when faith kicks in to trust that God has your best interest in mind. Um, uh, and, 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 and we see barriers uh, now, but on tomorrow, we'll see it as a blessing. Uh, man, we'll be thanking God. Man, I'm glad you let me go over there. Man, I'm glad you restrained me and didn't let that happen. Man, I'm so glad you didn't let me get involved in that. We don't see it that way now. Now it seems confusing. It's perplexing of how come, why. Uh, but, but the old folk had to say it. They said, just keep on uh, going to bed at night, getting up tomorrow. Uh, you'll understand it as time goes by, uh, that God really does love you. And, and his joy should be your strength. And your job, you know what I'm closing with? Your job is to continue, continue. And the truth of his word will set you free. Our job, your job, is simply to continue. Listen, I, I pray, I pray uh, you tune in Sunday morning um, um, as we continue and look at examples of people who were bound uh, and how God uh, set them free. Uh, and what he did for them, he's able to do the same thing for you. Uh, whatever has you bound today, um, continue in his word uh, and watch him set you free. Uh, and, and, and as we say, don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. Claim your freedom now. Uh, claim it through your praise. Uh, uh, claim it through your faith uh, that, 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 that God is setting you free. He's already set you free. And now you can walk in it. Listen, I pray um, um, that you be blessed, um, that you stay safe, um, and um, uh, uh, still tune in, tune in uh, Sunday morning uh, for the broadcast on KVMD or on one of our social media platforms, uh, either on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, but until then, um, um, you stay in the best place. But you know what? Today, I'm going to close out the prayer today. Um, uh, let's pray together. And God, the Father, how we bless you, uh, and we thank you for this day. Uh, and God, there are those who are bound today. I pray, God, today uh, by by your Spirit, by your power, uh, that, that that those who are bound would God would would feel the release, would sense your presence. Um, uh, for those who have forsaken your word, that. They'd pick it back up again. And I pray this time that they would stay and they would continue, God. Uh, pray for those who are struggling to make ends meet. Uh, let them know, God, that, that, that you're able to bless. Uh, uh, you, God, you can do uh, what seems impossible, what you've done for others. 
for all the examples in our lives. And, and, and God, we thank you today. We bless you. We thank you uh, because we have a reason to hope uh, because you're still God uh, and you love us and you have a perfect plan for our lives. We lift up those who are, are struggling in this economy. We pray for uh, the lostness of mankind. But God, we lift up those who are grieving and sad. Uh, who've lost loved ones in this pandemic. Uh, we pray, God, you promised in your word, uh, that, that in your word, that you are, you're our hope. Uh, and, and God, we know here on earth, uh, we're going to cry, we're going to shed tears. Uh, but we pray on the day that you bring joy where there's sorrow right now. Comfort today to the God of our comfort and how we thank you. And we bless you for this time of sharing today. Keep us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining our Wednesday night virtual service here at Bethel Baptist Church of Pasadena, California. Again, visit our website for giving information and more. It's BethelPasadena.org. On behalf of Pastor John T. McCall, thanks for watching. If you're ever in the Pasadena San Gabriel Valley area, we invite you to come in and visit with us at 1972 North Fair Oaks, Pasadena, California. To order a copy of today's message or for more information, log on to BethelPasadena.org or call the church office at 626-794-3136. Holding me 